Gary Lane Enterprises and Courtesy Motors present Paradise, Louisiana. With Gary Rasponi and Don Dubuque. Paradise, Louisiana is also brought to you by Baton Rouge Coca-Cola Bottling Company, Finney's Car Wash and Oil Change, Cracker Barrel Convenience Stores. We have more than you expect. Always fresh, never frozen, Raising Canes. Louisiana Fish Fry Products. Demco, your touchstone energy cooperative. Pro Drive Outboards. Blue Cross Blue Shield of Louisiana. And Rouse's Markets. You're either local or you're not. Welcome to Paradise, Louisiana. Here we are, almost at the end of the summer, almost the end of the store. Rad Thresher, I'm Gary Raspone. I had a big weekend, but I know you had a busier weekend. <laughs> Ride the Bull was this weekend, and it was one of the best we've ever had. Don, and I know you got your normal things, but uh, this time of year, you start doubling up too, getting ready right. for hunting and, right. and fishing well, both. So we chased uh, bull reds, not in a kayak. We did it in Ryan Lambert's ski to bay boat. We'll show you some of that. And also, yeah, it, just in time when star ends, guess what opens? The dove season will be open up this weekend, so we'll talk about that. Also, we're going to revisit a trip you made with the coaches, football coach trip. Football season's right around the corner. All the opening seasons of the SWAC and the Southeastern Conference coming up next week. Uh, we made a trip with Coach Dawson Odoms and all his assistants, went to my brother's camp at Big Lake, had some of the better guides in this state, especially at Big Lake when you go with the post. You know, Nick, Mary, and Jeff, what can you say about them? And, and it wouldn't have been for them. I don't know if we would have had a good trip because uh, he found a fish thanks to Nick and Jeff. Also, uh, I made my annual trip to the Duck Festival, getting ready the duck season, they're going through a lot of adversity over there too. The farmers especially, people that got their leases, the rice fields, some of them are flooded. It, it just, it's just hard to believe right now. A levee broke somewhere down south of 14. If you ride down 14 it, from Kaplan all the way to Lake Arthur, you can see it. If you go to Lake Arthur over the bridge, you can see where the water was back up in all the camps. It, it's it's just a tragedy like everywhere else, but it's going to really, how is it going to affect the season? When another thing, I've seen a lot of doves on the ground, but uh, all those millet fields and stuff that they had planted, and they were using to hunt and feed the cattle, pastures are full. Cattle are still waiting in water. So, but it might be a plus when ducks get here, so we'll have to wait and see. All right, all that plus our Flambeau Outdoor News segment and our Berkeley Abu Garcia Fishing Report. We're here at the LACCA office in Baton Rouge, and you're watching Paradise, Louisiana. Curtis has got your truck, man, so get yourself a deal, man. Courtesy Automotive is one of the largest and most experienced automotive groups in the South. Courtesy is a clear choice for all your automotive needs. So whether you're looking for a Ford, a Chevrolet, a Ram, Toyota, or a GMC, Courtesy's got your truck. A big truck, a small truck, Courtesy's got your truck, man. Louisiana strong. And you watch it, Paradise, Louisiana. With Southside Cafe, right here. Who doesn't want to save money on fuel? Now, Shell and the Fuel Rewards Network are putting you in control of how much you pay for fuel. Simply buy whatever's on your shopping list. Clothes, groceries, even dinner out. And earn cents per gallon savings at participating retailers nationwide. Now, fuel prices are in your hands. So why wait? Sign up at FuelRewards.com today and turn shopping power into saving power. Visit Cracker Barrel convenience stores before heading fishing or hunting. We have more than you expect. Welcome back to Paradise, Louisiana. And Gary, the hottest thing going on along the Louisiana coast right now is bull red fishing. We're going to talk to Rad Trasher about Ride the Bull, the kayak tournament a little bit later on. But it's not just the Grand Isle area. They are bull reds in just about every pass, every bay that's along the coast. And 
Captain Brian Lambert and I down at Cajun Fishing Adventures decided, well, we were going to head out towards the trout, but if we see those redfish, we're going to stop and work on them. And it didn't take very long. Did we, the weather play any, you know, a lot of storms? Did, you, did y'all watch? And, we were ahead of all of that before yeah, well, that came. I mean, we had a pretty, pretty day. Uh, water was a little off, it was dirty, but for redfish, not a big deal. Uh, and Ryan talks about the three things, the three signs. If you want to go out there and play with these big bull reds, and it's for the most part catch and release. It's not a good fish to keep. Every once in a while, you might get one under 25. But for the most part, it's going to be the big uh, 25 and uh, 27 inch and larger, the bull reds. And we fished them a couple of ways. I was using a topwater bait, a mullet bait. Uh, actually, it was one of those days where you had to get the right technique of what they wanted. And what they wanted was... A lot of motion, like a dying fish, injured fish, and then stop. And I mean, maybe let it wait for 15 to 20 seconds or longer, and it was like the fish was followed and he would strike it. Ryan was fishing with a cork. He was using a Z-Man bait. He'll show you that and show you how you can catch him either way. But it's a lot of fun, and as we talked about, it's really one of the most underutilized fishing species we have. It's not a lot of local people target bull reds, but people come from all over the country and really enjoy catching them. Yeah, you know... <laughs> Louisiana is really, we're known for Toledo Bend, our bass fishing, speckled trout, all of it. But as far as the national image, we are the redfish capital of the world. So Absolutely. people are starting to come here. And I remember last year, the ride the bull, they struggled for a little while, then all of a sudden they turned on. And then two years ago, somebody sent me a picture. Labor Day night, he was on a bridge, and I had that picture with, with all them fish they were schooling. It looked like piranha underneath the light and they were all red fish. I guess I, all our people in Louisiana know when it comes Labor Day, <laughs> it's red fish time. All right, and it goes on beyond that too and it starts a little bit before that. It's kind of a long season and if you want to get in on it, Captain Ryan Lambert's got some advice. The three things to look for to locate them and then also how to fight them. Those big bull reds that are so much fun But Captain Ryan Lambert fishing on the East side of the Mississippi River out of Buras. Well, when you first come out on water like this, and the water's pretty dirty today, just look for the pelicans and then start looking for pogies, mullets. And then, then after that, you can look for the, either tide lines or the, the slick lines that come up. And if you follow a tide line, a lot of times they're right along that line. So if they're not coming up and blowing up on top where you can see them, Take the cork and put it down, and as you get them starting to work and see where they are, then you can go with a topwater bait, you know, like the mullet or, or the pop shad that Z-Man makes, something like that, that that we like to fish. But once you start seeing them, and if you don't ever see them, just fish the lines, and you throw that cork there and a big, loud popping cork, pop, 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 with a bait two foot under, and sure enough, you go catch them. I'm losing ground. <laughs> Come on up, baby. Come on up. Mm. Now, what we're using to initiate these vicious strikes by these bull reds is this live target mullet. It's a topwater bait simulated an injured fish, and those red fish tear it up. It's very easy to do this time of year. They're coming toward the river. This is just a start. It's going to be like this the rest of the year until the river gets high. This is going to be. Just use heavy line because they like to eat the cork while it's under and you pop off a lot. So if you use 50 pound braid, I mean a 50 pound fluorocarbon leader, you won't have any problem. You just, you feel them crushing your cork and you just catch them. I mean, it's, it's going to be like this for the rest of the year. It's going to be awesome. They go hog headed fish. Uh, it might bite me. Woo, woo. The rod is your shock absorber. And if, you, if the fish goes to take it and you let it get straight, all you have is the line and your reel. So if you take the shock absorber out of it, you're going to lose. So just keep your rod bent no matter what. Keep it down in the water. Whatever way the fish swims, you put the rod down another way to tire him out better. Get him in the boat and let him go. You know, it's a great, great sport. They eat anything a bass will eat, they'll eat. So this is, this is a very underutilized sport. You don't have to throw a crab on the bottom. You can come here and have fun with them. There we go. All right, bull red fishing, it's that time of the year. Get on out here, bring you some topwater baits, fish them under a popping cork, and you'll have some big fun on the bayou. You bull red fish, that's not a fish for the table, that's our breeding stock. It'll live to fight another day. 
Ask me about my Tempur-Pedic. Ask me how fast I fall asleep. Why not talk to someone who's sleeping on the most highly recommended bed in America? Ask me about staying asleep. Tempur-Pedic owners are more satisfied than owners of any traditional mattress brand. Ask me how it feels after 10 years. Tempur-Pedic, the most highly recommended bed in America. Ask about Tempur-Pedic at Olin's, where you know you always get the guaranteed low price. Olin's is the only store in Baton Rouge and Lafayette with the full line of Tempur-Pedics. My name is Chris Acosta. Tim Harris. Um, we're, we're two of the guys that are going to be running the new Rouses on Airline Highway um, and in uh, off of Antioch and Hi Highland in Baton Rouge. Um, just wanted to say thank you uh, for welcoming us to the community. Um, for all y'all out there watching Paradise, Louisiana, come by and see us. Uh, we'll be more than happy to help y'all out with anything y'all would like to have. Stay tuned for more Paradise, Louisiana. Come to the family-owned and operated Cassius Casino in Port Allen today, where the Vegas-style video poker machines are ready for your entertainment. Cassius Casino is the finest, cleanest, classiest casino around. And Cassius 50-style diner is now serving seafood daily, along with your favorite home-cooked specials 24-7. Hey, Cassius is fun. Cassius is exciting. So come to the unsinkable Cassius Casino in Port Allen. Over the river, two miles west of exit 151. Welcome back to Paradise, Louisiana. We've been talking about Bull Reds and had a big Bull Red tournament, in fact, the largest kayak tournament in the world. Down a little bit this year, but uh, nonetheless, a very big success. And, Rad, you were part of it with CCA. Well, it was. You know, this was the first year that CCA took it over for Danny and Kristen Ray. After, after they found it, what, six years ago, uh, Kristen lost her battle with cancer, and Danny asked us to take it over, and sure enough, even ma no matter the floods and everything else, we still had over 600 people register. I think we had 545 kayakers on the water. It is one of the neatest things to see. If you have, even if you don't want to participate, you need to go to, down to Grand Isle for that weekend just to see it. Well, for your first year involvement on the part of CCA, you had a real couple of challenges. The flood victims, which hurt the attendance, and then you had a big storm in the Gulf that threatened to shut the whole thing down, but some kind of way it came off. Look, we got really, really lucky. We gave the credit to Kristen for that because the, the weather parted. We had a huge storm right off the Gulf, and it literally just made its way all the way around Grand Isle. We watched storms all day, um, but we never had a delay in fishing, and uh, we had... A, we set a new record. We had 133 bull reds caught. The record was 72, which was actually done last year. So almost it's double. almost <laughs> double. It was one heck of a happening, and I got to think. How not did y'all handle all that with them fish coming in? It, it was always been hectic 
getting them in, getting them in, getting them tagged, sent them back. You must have gone crazy. Look, thanks to Wildlife and Fisheries, who, who had a team down there that helped revive them and tag them, and, and so we could release all those fish. Uh, Troy Moran was our way master. Ann Smith was helping him. It was all hands on deck, and we had, I think, 12 chase boats running around in circles, and as fast as you could get out there, pick up the fish, and back to the Waymaster, it, it just nonstop for the first two hours. Then it kind of slowed down, and then near lunchtime it picked back up. But 133 bull reds came in in a hurry. Um, and then you had, you know, and most of them were, and they were all good size. You know, a lot of times in years past, you find a slot red here and there. Uh, there was there was, wasn't a small fit. Who were the top finishers? The top finishers. You know, last last year we had a, a, a lady win in a in a canoe. Two years ago we had a, a, a young a young woman win on a paddleboard. And this year a 16 year old takes takes home the prize with a 34 and a half pound bull red. And look, this 16 year old not only wins a brand new wilderness kayak thanks to our great sponsors at Wilderness, but he also wins three thousand dollars in cash. It is not a bad deal. The interesting pieces of, of Ride the Bull is it is 90% volunteer driven. I've got to tip my hat to, to Vicki and Chris Holmes. They really were the glue that kind of held it together. Um, you know, CCA made, made a lot of the important decisions, but between Vicki and Chris, our friends over at Fogey and Smith and their whole crew, uh, as well as a lot of our guys, Al Guidros, Mark Mouton, Brad Fife. You name it, we've got a bunch. We had a bunch of people down. <laughs> but this, and that was something I said that night. I don't know anywhere else on our coast that we could have this thing and pull it off the way we do without the Vegas family at Bridgeside Marina. If you've never been there, which I, I doubt any of these viewers haven't, you need to go. It is a first-class operation with a first-class family running it. And the second part of it is the sponsors. Wilderness Systems, AFCO, Academy Sports and Outdoors, Shimano, Lowrance, GoPro, and our local guys at the Backpacker. Without those folks, none of it would be possible. So be, check us out on Facebook. All the pictures will be up, and uh, we'll probably be publishing a date for next year here pretty soon. All right. Well, let's take a little trip down there and show you more of the sights and sounds from this year's Ride the Bull Kayak Tournament out of Bridgeside Marina in Grand Isle. That's, I mean, I've never seen this many kayaks in one area uh, running a chase boat. But uh, we're glad to be out here, glad we can help. And man, it catches a lot of fish, it looks like. And moving fish in right now, and, and it looks like everybody's in it for the long haul, so it looks like they'll be here for a while.
race on Grand Isle. We just came down to take the boat back, thinking the storm was coming. But, uh, the guys have really hit it good. They've had, the first year was a really tough year for them. Last year they had 800 boats. But, uh, this is the most fish they've caught ever for the tournament. They can tag so far about 60. And, uh, the tide that they hit this morning was perfect. But the high tide was at 7. It's dropping all day long. Benny's Car Wash and Oil Change has been keeping cars and trucks in Baton Rouge clean and running smooth for over 50 years. At Benny's, we feature professional car washing, complete detailing, high-tech waxing and buffing, interior cleaning, and tire shine. Benny's, one stop for car maintenance with complete oil and lube services and even state inspections at our express locations. Visit one of our five convenient locations, including our newest store on Greenwell Springs Road. And don't forget to stop by Be Quick Convenience Store and Fuel Stop. Benny's Car Wash and Oil Change. Drive in dirty, drive out clean. Box combo, please. At Raisin Cane's, we do one thing. And we do it better than anyone else. So why not let our food do the talking? Love the window. Raisin Cane's, only the best chicken finger meals. One love. <laughs> Welcome back to Paradise, Louisiana. And Gary, you know, a lot of people fish for different reasons. Some people fish for the challenge. Some people fish for enjoyment. Some people fish for food. And then you got those that fish that just carry over that competitive edge. Yeah, and they just want us. The idea is to get away. You know, you got a competitive season coming on. Been trying to get all summer. Coach Dawson Odoms is the man. You saw him at, you was at the spring luncheon. The standing stand ovation. He earned stand it. Ovation, just the way he talks. He don't make excuses. He got so much adversity sometimes at Southern University, whether it's brought on by politics or kids getting hurt. He's one of those you don't make excuses. He just gets there and battled. And did he battle in the boat? And he didn't let none of his assistants get ahead of him. Coach Odom, we love you. We will say, go Jags. That's all I'm going to tell you. But this is the man that keeps the Jags going right now and all his assistants. Coach Dawson Odom, Southern University Jaguar. Juan Navarro, coach of defensive line, go Jags. Juan Navarro, Pacoima, California, and I coach a defensive line, go Jags. Matt Leone from Ocala, Florida. I coach the quarterbacks, go Jags. Charles Cheek, coach linebackers, Atlanta, Georgia, go Jags. Trey Oliver, defensive coordinator from Hampton, Virginia. Go Jags. Steve Adams from Greenville, Kentucky. I coach the cornerbacks and the special teams. Go Jags. I'm Coach Odoms, and I'm ready to go fishing. Go, go I'm Nick Poe. Welcome to Big Lake Guide Service. So you've been, been going out on, the, on this different slow, lakes? This and... slow every month? No, I haven't been. OK. So you, you enjoying what you're doing? Always. Give you a chance to meet a, a different uh, variety of people, don't you? People. Yeah, sure does. Okay. Yeah. But if you really want to meet people, you got to learn to meet people like Jeff Poe. He's one of the most outstanding guys here on Big Lake. He's probably been on TV more than uh, Michael Jordan been on Sports Illustrated. Oh, that's he So we shouldn't come back empty-handed. He can handle pressure. He's been with me in the boat before. Well, God bless him, because I know that was an yeah, interesting yeah, that's right. <laughs> Coach, what's the most curious? you ever been on the water? Uh, the most bad experience you ever had on the water fishing? Really had no bad experience on the water fishing. Never had one? I tried What's to... your most memorable trip on the water fishing? Oh man, Who we was flew. I was working at Georgia uh, uh, Clark Atlanta and our staff flew um, 
we landed somewhere between some trees. When I woke up, we was coming down and I thought we was crashing. We went to a remote island and we went deep sea fishing. And we hit a, I guess it's what it's called when it's a lot of them, like a spool, a spoon. What is it? We hit it like mahi mahi. Yeah. And we had to take reels out the water because it was so many right there. And man, we caught so much and brought so much back. And that was really the first time I ever been deep sea fishing. And it was, it was remarkable, man. We had the time of our life. You know, we stayed somewhere where you couldn't lock the doors. Windows was open. <laughs> we were the only people on the island. I mean, it was, it was, it was really nice. I enjoyed it. Got sick, but I enjoyed it. Yep. Yes. We like him. Yes. We like him a lot. 22 inches. You just, you just got to keep going, Gary. And he's big enough to eat. Black drum. Oh, shut sure. What do you got over here? Oh my, uh, yes, sir. We reeling them in over here, baby. Hang on. We reeling them in. Good fish. Yeah, it's a good fish. I'm just, hey, go. <laughs> Look at there. Nice oh, trap. We're going to get all kind of fish. Now it's feeding time. Yeah, that's a real good one. That and wiggles. Oh, yeah, what we got here? What we got on there? Redfish. Oh, that ain't gonna make it, is it? No, he doesn't make a team. He out there though. There's something out there. Dawson, I guess for you, this is three Fs. Uh, it, it's fishing, it's, it's, it's fellowship, and it's football. Well, exactly. You know, I think it's a great opportunity anytime you can be out on the water with friends and you know, we out here with our staff and just having a great time and, and enjoying the day. Well, business starts pretty quickly for you guys, though, and uh, this is your fourth year. You won a SWAC championship in your rookie season. You won the Western Division of the SWAC uh, two years ago, six and three in the league last year. What are the Jaguars going to do this year? Well, I think we got a really good football team coming back, especially once we get through summer school and, yeah. and get all the, through all the grades and make sure that we got the right team out there. And if we get all our players out there, we'll be as good as anybody in 2016. Well, it starts at quarterback, and you've got a preseason first team uh, quarterback coming back. Yeah, he's very good. We're just looking for him to take the next year and his mm -hmm. growth. And if he do those things, we'll be excited about this. Season. Tell me about the uh, the new artificial surface at uh, at Mumford Stadium. This is uh, this is something special. Well, it's changed the, the face of our facilities, and we're excited about playing on it. You've got uh, ULM coming up first, then Tulane on the road. I know you think both of those games are winnable. Well, I mean, I think it gives us an opportunity to start the season the right way. You know, instead of training for maybe a lesser foe, guys got to come out and, mm -hmm. and eager and be ready to go and lock in. You didn't have spring training last year uh, because of some NCAA things. Nobody's ever gone through that before as a coach. What, what do you approach the fall uh, with knowing that you didn't have that, that spring preparation? Well, I think we're used to it. I mean, uh, we've been two years in a row. Our quarterback has never had a spring. But, mm -hmm. you know, our motto is control the things that you can't right. and worry about the things you cannot. Well, I think it needs to be pointed out, too, that the problems uh, were all before this regime, before the current coaches were, were on hand. And, and unfortunately, you're having to, to live with that now. But there is uh, light at the end of the tunnel. Well, it's always light at the end of the tunnel. but. But problems will continue if you don't solve them. Yeah. And that's what we're trying to do, and, and hopefully we're able to do those things. If not, they'll keep reoccurring, and, and we have to solve those problems. You, you know, on this trip, I've been able to meet some of your young coaches. I'm very impressed with their work ethic, their knowledge of football. But, but the camaraderie of this group seems to be really strong. I mean, they enjoy each other. They, you know, we've been talking football a lot. And um, it, it's interesting to me to be around a bunch of football coaches when they're trying to relax. Well, exactly. You know, I think the chemistry and the, the chemistry that, that we have as a staff is, is tremendous. I think the guys get along well. They work well together. The knowledge of the game is there. And that's about getting our chemistry from a staff to our players and getting them on the same page. If there's one concern you have right now as you get prepared for ULM in early September, what is it? 
Well, first of all, just figuring out what players you have, mm -hmm. and then uh, addressing some of the issues that we have. We have young kickers, you know, just getting them uh, up to game speed, getting them valuable reps doing camp. And once we solidify those spots, I think everything else will take care of itself. Well, 2016 could be very special for us, Southern football. Good luck. Thank you for having me. Sure. Yeah, we we'll take that one. Good trout. Up and in. Yeah, it is. Well, that's making a good day out of it. Curtis's got your truck, man, so get yourself a deal, man. Courtesy Automotive is one of the largest and most experienced automotive groups in the South. Courtesy is a clear choice for all your automotive needs. So whether you're looking for a Ford, a Chevrolet, a Ram, Toyota, or a GMC, Courtesy's got your truck. A big truck, a small truck, Courtesy's got your truck, man. You watching Paradise, Louisiana. Honda of Covington Power Sports is celebrating Louisiana's Second Amendment tax holiday by offering the same tax savings to you. Save big on our entire inventory of Honda ATVs and side-by-sides. Go to Honda of Covington Power Sports, the number seven power sports dealer in the nation. Reserve your new Honda today and save hundreds on taxes. Buy the Honda 4Trax Rancher for just $39.99. Plus, the Honda of Covington Power Sports Service Center is ready to keep your Honda running longer. Save big and find your happy Honda place. The all-new Honda of Covington Power Sports. Welcome back to Paradise, Louisiana, Rad, and to put it in football terms, the star rodeo this year is in the two-minute warning. That is it. One week to go. So if you're watching this show, Labor Day weekend is coming up, and it's almost over. So scales close at on Monday, Labor Day, at 5 p.m. We will be following up with all the way stations on Tuesday morning. Hopefully, we'll be able to close down all the leaderboard and, and have the final – the Final results pending polygraph examinations and those kind of things probably on Wednesday or so is usually have when we posted post on your website. Come up, you know, you've been watching this for years and years, and you've you done that. Right now, coming in this last week, which divisions you think? Not it's like predicting a flood. I know you know <laughs> them, but what what the ones the leaderboard? What do you think is the most safe? And which ones you think probably got a chance to get knocked out in the last? Man, the it, last it is week. so hard to tell. I think everything is is still open. I mean, believe it or not, we're still having big fish caught, um, you know, all across the coast. And we have so many divisions, it's really hard to pick. If I had to guess, I would say the big trout divisions, the big adult four trout divisions, those anglers are probably in good shape, especially with all the weather we have in the Gulf and so on. But I'm going to tell you, if you're an offshore fisherman, I would try my best to find a Dorado this weekend. That is very beatable. Good fish that we have on the board, but it's beatable. If I am a kayak fisherman, I'm going to try to find a big trout in the marsh somewhere. They are there. We know it. There's still people picking up good fish in Leeville and some of those areas. And those areas can be beat right now. So I think there's a lot of opportunities. It's the last Labor Day weekend, uh, last weekend of the tournament. Now, if you want to win Star, the easiest way to do it is get your kids in. It's still not too late. It is a $10 membership for them and free to join. And then all you have to do is send a picture of them with a trout over 14 inches, email it directly to me or bring it to one of the way stations. Their name is put in a hopper, and we're going to draw for four boat motor and trailer packages. I mean, you, you can't beat that. We have a ton of kids registered, and right now we don't have a whole lot on the photo end. So right now your chances are maybe one in 100 per, per division. That's the way you win the star tournament. Well, I just want to remind everybody, if you're watching this Wednesday, Thursday, or Friday, you got, you got the weekend. 
If you're watching Sunday morning, you better hurry up and get, up and get out there. Well, you know, there's one more category that you don't have to knock anybody out, and that's that tag redfish. We, we still have, what, 45 fish still swimming. They are out there, I promise you. You know, we had one caught uh, in Delacro la uh, two weeks ago during the flood. Uh, we didn't get to publish it a whole lot while everything was going on in Baton Rouge. But one over in Delacro, we've had one in Buras, three in Grand Isle, one in Fouchon. They're out there. Get fishing, and we need, we got a lot of prizes left to give away in that division. And when will those prizes be given out? October 20th. Mark your calendar. We will be at Live Oak Arabians in Baton Rouge for the annual Star Banquet. Even if you're not a winner, come see it. It is a great party at an incredible venue. All right. Star 2016, it's about over. Get out there, and good luck. It's not too late to join the 2016 CCA Star Tournament. Don't miss your chance to compete for over $500,000 in prizes. Boats, tackle packages, trips, and even cash. Over 25 divisions up for grabs. Whether you're young or old, fish inshore or offshore, they have one for you. Don't go fishing without your star ticket. Register at CCASTAR.com now through Labor Day. Stay tuned for more at Paradise, Louisiana. This is our love. This is our life. This is our home. Louisiana. This is our day. Welcome back to Paradise, Louisiana. And Gary, you know, Louisiana is known for having a lot of festivals. And one of the best festivals, particularly if you're a hunter, is the Gay Don Duck Festival. And they celebrated 40 years this year. You know, this, 40 years, it was amazing. I had an argument with a lady from Bro Bridge. She said the Crawfish Festival has won a festival a year. But I looked at all the plaques on the wall, and I think it's debatable, you know. Uh, Miss Judy LeBlanc was the president of this year, the lady. She, they've been there. The same people are there every year that put on such a great festival. But us being a hunting and fishing show, we've been part of it. I like to say we're part of the fest festivities in Louisiana, cause especially the ones that are tied to outdoors. Sure. Now, the Duck Festival got everything you know about ducks. They even had duct tape. I said, <laughs> we had a... We had one of our old Baton Rouge lawyers over there. He was written from Kaplan. He was the MC. I'm talking about Burton Gibson. He he was over there. He tied in that the former Lieutenant Governor Bobby Freeman, that son-in-law, mm -hmm. and uh, his family. They were all was over there. He was there, and and the first time ain't the first time been to Duck Fest. First time he ever MC and sat there doing them duck calling contest. So. In the next few weeks, we're going to bring you a lot of the flavor coming from the Duck Festival, especially the things that have to do with outdoors. While I was there, I interviewed some of the top, some of the top uh, lodges over there mm -hmm. and some of the complaints they have and what's going on and ones that, what they're expecting, uh, especially Mr. Doug Sanye. Uh, one good thing about it, because of the, a lot of stuff going on in the off-field, there's a lot of openings. Some of the good places that had a great year last year, and I think I have a great year this year. So if you want to ever make a good guided hunt, you can go there. Now, while I was there, you know, main thing was we you got so many festivities. We had the beauty pageant, and mm -hmm. we got all them. And the cooking contest is another great deal. Jay and Carolyn Thomas, they won it with a dish with griots, duck griots, and, and grits, oh, Ooh. my goodness, it was believable. But everything was good. You know, I made my first trip watch them cook, and they wouldn't let me test, so I had to go back and forth. I was running back and forth from the duck calling contest to them. So the main reason we're going to got news right now, we're going to show you some of the duck festival with just a little bit, some of the cooking contests, some of the winners. But we're going to announce the state champions right now. And the state champion, the young guy you had on the radio sure. the other day, uh, the junior state champion is Miles Pond. Uh, he's first place. He's from Folsom, Louisiana. Louisiana State Intermediate Duck Champion 
is Silas Ardwin from Ville Platte. He was also a winner last year. He always plays. He's been there a good while. For some reason, he's not going to be able to make the trip to Stuttgart, okay, because it's coming out and he's in school. He's going to have a little trouble getting there. He still might try to make it, but he can't. Miles has definitely said he's right. going to Stuttgart. Nick Potan, upset, beat Nathan Flemings. Nathan Flemings went. Nathan Flemings, by the way, when, when he went the first year he won the intermediate, he was a world champion. He won a world champion. There's only been two other ones in the other division besides the seniors. Who was the only senior world champion from Louisiana to, at the Duck Calling Championships in Stuttgart? Fred Parnell. Fred Parnell. Absolutely. You're so small. You do radio. <laughs> well, the other one was one of, one of the Haydell boys did it, won it when he was a teenager. He, he won the world championships one year way back. Mm -hmm. So, by the way, we had a lot of those guys that come from all those places were judges for the duck calling contest. Uh, and then the, the Gate on Duck Festival senior team calling is not state with John Chesson and Vincent Marsiglia from where? Tickfall. The, they won it. That's a new deal. They had 19 participants in that. Now, we're going back to the Louisiana State Senior spec, Nathan Femlin, come out and won. He also went early. He come in second in the world in Katy, Texas, the spec of better calling, earlier this year. Uh, then the Louisiana State junior spec call is William Barnes. And let me tell you what, from Washington, Louisiana, that's right out of Opelousas, there's North Opelousas. Those people, those kids, the juniors, if you're not watching, or if you're a judge, you just... Don't look. These kids are unbelievable. They didn't have quite as many participants they usually have for some reason, but the quality is just unbelievable how good these kids are. I'd hate to have to been a judge. So, and then Nathan piled them up. I have some interviews we'll probably show you all later in the year before we get to duck season, so don't pile us in. We had, we had a lot of good winners in it, and we didn't have as many participants because of the flood with the field trials and the skeet shoot. Every time we go do the skeet show, the storm would hit. I didn't hardly get none, but in the future, they're going to send me some stuff. We're going to show you some more of the Duck Festival. But right now, congratulations to, to the state champions. And uh, what else can I say, Donna? I love going every year, and it was a tremendous 40th. And by the way, you're talking about the black cloud. I said, oh, boy, I hope I didn't black cloud these people. I went back and forth. The bands were tremendous. Wayne Toops and Gino LaFosse. It, it was just unbelievable to see the crowd dancing and having fun. But that rain dampened some stuff, but it didn't dampen the parade. So we had some scenes. We'll go out on that. 40th annual Louisiana Gate On Duck Festival. <laughs> Everybody calls me Claw Daddy. This is my friend Robin Lounsbury. We're both here from here in Vermillion Parish. That's correct. And we want to thank Paradise, Louisiana, and you, Gary, and everybody associated with you for bringing our interest this festival, which, by the way, is 40 years, my buddy? 40th anniversary of the Duck Festival this year. Bringing it to the world. We appreciate it, especially in these days and times when we've been inundated with a little too much water to hunt ducks for life. That's correct.
Come to the family-owned and operated Cassius Casino in Port Allen today, where the Vegas-style video poker machines are ready for your entertainment. Cassius Casino is the finest, cleanest, classiest casino around. And Cassius 50-style diner is now serving seafood daily, along with your favorite home-cooked specials 24-7. Hey, Cassius is fun. Cassius is exciting. So come to the unsinkable Cassius Casino in Port Allen. Over the river, two miles west of exit 151. Who doesn't want to save money on fuel? Now, Shell and the Fuel Rewards Network are putting you in control of how much you pay for fuel. Simply buy whatever's on your shopping list. Clothes, groceries, even dinner out. And earn cents per gallon savings at participating retailers nationwide. Now, fuel prices are in your hands. So why wait? Sign up at FuelRewards.com today and turn shopping power into saving power. Visit Cracker Barrel convenience stores before heading fishing or hunting. We have more than you expect. Welcome to the Flambeau Outdoor News segment. Gary, the news that broke last week, red snapper season in state waters, which we have enjoyed 242 days of it by the time they implement the closure, will shut down officially, uh, whatever way you want to call it, midnight Sunday or midnight um, as we begin Labor Day. So you got till this coming Sunday before you can have to stop catching red snapper in the Gulf. There's a possibility. Uh, once all the dust clears and they get the numbers right, there could be a reopening before the end of this year, maybe get a little fall or winter season. We'll keep you up to date on that. The other news is hunting seasons are here. Mississippi, where I'll be this weekend, also in Louisiana, the, the first split of the dove season opens up on Saturday, and then that'll be followed uh, in just a couple of weeks away. We'll be hunting teal, and we're getting some decent reports. I got uh, we, we videoed some teal down at Ryan Lambert's down by the mouth of the river. Probably saw about 200 birds. Marshes are in excellent shape, a lot of feed in there, and hopefully these depressions and tropical storms that have been brewing around out there don't come in and bring a lot of salt water to kill a lot of that vegetation. I, you know, Napa, I was down there in teal country. I right. never had seen a bad teal season in Gaydon, Klondike, Lake Arthur, any way of those areas around there, Iowa. People to see in teal. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I met a new friend in the watches to show him and his wife. Uh, Steve Court, by the way, he he's yep. a good friend of yours. Steve. He helped build that that global thing. wildlife, yeah. Right, and then uh, he he was right looking at his forms. A lot of his water damage right now. Looking at his forms, and he was been seeing some teal. So it's still two weeks away. And I told you some of those millet fields they had planted for the cows, and they was hoping to shoot some doves. They flooded and damaged and. Don't know what's going to happen, but then it might be a a, a, a open or a, a help come duck season. The duck season will fall behind. I don't know about the teal. Uh, it is still standing. So, but I got to talk to them. I talked to Mr. Uh, Ronnie Ancelet from from that area in, in Jennings, and he was checking his farms. Everything was flooded. I'm gonna wish him good luck, but I got a lot of invitations. <laughs> to go make hunts, especially at teal season. We got it from Mr. Doug Landon. Mm -hmm. Doug Sanye is out there working all the time. They had pumps going. Every time he'd come do an interview, we did an interview with him. We're going to show you later before the duck season. Him talking about how the season, he'd been there 40 years, and how, how it, it, it is, uh, what's the word I want to use, Don? How it, it just came about, it gets worse, it gets better in the different things, how it changes, how the duck flight changed for him. But they're real fortunate where they are. Them and Cherry Ridge right now got the marsh and they got rice fields and they, they can put their clients on still a lot of ducks. They kill ducks. They're talking about having a year where they kill 750 ducks, they kill 1,000 ducks, and then maybe a couple of years they're down, they don't kill but 450. And then these are private hunts and they're mm -hmm. not, not just the the largest. All right. So. Well, with regard to dove season, one word of caution if you're going to be out on a dove field, fulfill your responsibility as a hunter to make sure you're not hunting on an illegally baited field. You know, inspect the field, look for any grain. If it was brought in there and did not naturally grow in there, that's a red flag. Also, ask the landowner or the person you're leasing from if it's that situation. 
Uh, is this field legal for dove hunting? And just get the answers and look around and look for signs that something may be amiss and you shouldn't have any problem. And also, if you're interested in making a hunt, there may be some openings where I'm going in Poplarville, Mississippi. Give Lance Ladner a call if you want to get a last minute shot in there. It's a barbecue and a hunt, 150 bucks a gun is a good deal. He tells me there's a lot of birds coming in. All right, we'll be right back. Whoa, 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 I might get to make a dove hunt. You're going to be and, on a duck hunt. Well, I know I go every year, but uh, but there's a rumor. I, I better not say it. They might have been. Uh, but, well, but I wouldn't say that. Well, uh, you don't want to give he, that away. He's been don't real, he has been real, very, very busy with all this stuff going on. And uh, he told me after he goes to church, it might be a chance. He might have a few minutes to get out there. And I'm going to talk about our governor, Edwards. So I'm not going to tell you where the field is, but it's a good chance the governor might get to make, get a few minutes to make a dove hunt. He is a great outdoorsman. You know that, but lately, poor thing ain't had a chance to do much outdoors. Well, make sure you get the count. Let's see if he can shoot. You know, see how he shoots. You know that a lot of people have pros and cons, Democrat and Republicans, but one thing he's shown, his his military background is showing a lot of leadership, so I, I think I'm going to give him a shout out. All right. We'll be right back with the Berkeley Abu Garcia Fishing Report here on Paradise, Louisiana. At Rouse's, we love food as much as you do. That's why it's no surprise our chefs aren't the only cooks who work here. Rouse's butchers know how to select, trim, and cook every cut we sell. Of course, our produce experts are the very best in the field. And on the field. And you can always count on our seafood department for the best catch. Heads up, Brandon. The best quality and the best price is why the best chefs and cooks shop and work at Rouse's. Honda of Covington Power Sports is celebrating Louisiana's Second Amendment tax holiday by offering the same tax savings to you. Save big on our entire inventory of Honda ATVs and side-by-sides. Go to Honda of Covington Power Sports, the number seven power sports dealer in the nation. Reserve your new Honda today and save hundreds on taxes. Buy the Honda Four Tracks Rancher for just $39.99. Plus, the Honda of Covington Power Sports Service Center is ready to keep your Honda running longer. Save big and find your happy Honda place. The all-new Honda of Covington Power Sports. Welcome to the Berkeley Abu Garcia Fishing Report. And Gary, no sense talking about redfish. We showed everything you want to know about catching redfish this week. But speckled trout, a little bit different story. If you're going to fish Grand Isle, you saw some people on there that were successful. Uh, other than that, speckled trout's getting hard to catch. We're in that transition time of the year. So you got to really pick your spots and pick your times if you're going to find specks. And other people call me and tell me they got on them and they, they let them out by 9 or 10 o'clock. No big trout. Mm -hmm. No big trout, but small fish. big trout. And I talked to Tommy Vidrine. You see, his his wife is leading the store, and and they got one week left. I'm gonna pull for her because I've <laughs> seen that lady out there, hot and thin. You know, here's the lady that sticks with Tommy, and, and he's always bumping and running and running, and she sticks with him. But Tommy, that, that I went, I went check on him with the flood, and so he was in a flood area. He was high and dry, but he was telling me. That and he had some speckled trout fillets, and then every time they get a rain shower and round in them, and they've been getting a bunch of them, they cools that water, and then sometimes they even the air gets a little cool. He'll jump in his boat and he'll go out on them rocks, no matter whether from Fushon or there, fishing the rocks right there at Kamenata. He's fishing live shrimp, shrimp been running big, been getting them over there at Bridside, Sand Dollar, wherever you get them, get out on them rocks. And that water, them, them trout will start coming up. Buggy sent me a, a video off the pier of the trouts under the light and nobody fishing. Hmm. Right before, the, you know, when after all the flood and all the storm, right before the ride the bull during the week, they said they were taking. You could see the trout under the light. But when them storms come through, they get around them trout and they're good trout. And Tommy will limit them out in no time on live shrimp and pogies. He said, they'll chase them pokers. They'll throw them pokers a free line, and all of a sudden, they'll see it jump, flutter, and boom, there they are. All so. right, moving on to freshwater, be sure and check the Wildlife and Fisheries website. A lot of the 
impoundment, the interior lakes are being drawn down, and it's a good fishing this, tip because the fishing actually gets better sometimes when they draw them down. Like that's right. They, 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 don't have, they ain't spread out. They go concentrated in little areas. And uh, you also got to be careful where you run into A lot of times the low water is, is a difference. But there you do. Wildlife fish is real good at marking in places. But Henderson, I know, I, I think I got a report where they're supposed to be low in Henderson also. But going to, going toward Gator and going over I-10, the water is beautiful. It's gorgeous all, all over in the area. And Bijou and all mm -hmm. the little areas. Uh, but I didn't see a boat fishing, so that might tell you something. You know, whether it's a storm, the flood, a lot of people in Lafayette area got flooded. But I got a report from Lake Martin, from my bro bird boys, Kenny Hay. He, he, he went and caught five or six bass in Lake Martin, and uh, he didn't fish long, a couple hours. He said the bass are in there, in that area. So I would think in Henderson, Chaffalai Spillway, and then get one report. Not one report, and that's not to say they're doing it. Now, down in the marsh is a different story. Below, Morgan City and Amelia and all those areas in the Black Bayou, they still catch the Sacolay, Brim, Gagala, and Bass. And also Toledo Ben's worth mentioning as well. Oh, well, always. That's always deal. I might have a little surprise. We're going to be getting some North Louisiana reports from hook them up and track them down. You can, you can see them on Tiger. They're on Tiger Radio up in North Louisiana. They also do a, a website video cast. So, Mike Eccles and all those boys up there, they're going to be giving us a report. All right, and you can give us reports too. Help us out. Send your pictures, your reports to Gary at Paradise, Louisiana. Enjoy your Labor Day weekend, and we'll see you back here with another edition of Paradise, Louisiana.